Okay, I got to record. So I have never done anything like this before. So I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I'm gonna try to get this video edited so that I can put it all together and let you go on my five-day fast journey. Okay? I guess this started maybe about six or seven years ago when I seemed to be uh, unable to lose weight. Um, I slowly started to gain weight. I'll post a video here of what I used to look like um, before I had metabolic damage and pre-diabetic and type 2 diabetes. I went for our 6% body fat. I would run every day. But my fitness journey, my fitness lifestyle never changed. But um, over time, my body did. And over the years, I got to the point where I couldn't even lose weight. My workouts became more intense, longer, harder. I've been on very strict diets. Any type of a diet or lifestyle change that you've heard of, um, I've tried it. And it, it began to become very apparent to me that I had some serious problems. So I started attempting to uh, have better conversations with my doctor to let her know of my concerns. And she recommended me to a diabetes uh, specialist and doctor coach, which in turn I started talking to and um, we both found out that she really didn't have any more information than I already knew myself throughout all my research. She ended up hiring me as a trainer for one of her sons. So that was to no avail. <clears throat> um, I began to monitor my, my blood sugars and they began to steadily increase even when I was on metformin. And so to make this long story shorter, through struggles and frustration and realizing that my doctor uh, could not help me any longer, I knew it was time to take more matters into my own, matters into my own hands, right? So I began to research. I started to do the research. I learned about uh, types of diets that would help people with insulin resistance, uh, people who were type 2 diabetic, people who really had problems uh, losing weight or with their blood sugars. I came across a few online and I started to do my research, which landed me on the ketogenic lifestyle. Um, when you're insulin resistant, it's very important to monitor your uh, refined uh, sugars and carbs and processed foods. So I began to take on more of a vegan lifestyle with some moderate protein and meats at times. And I started to move into a very strict ketogenic diet, but almost to no avail. I found some results um, but they really came very slow and, and hard. Um, throughout my research, I started following a doctor named Dr. Jason Fung, Jason Fung who is doing some uh, miraculous work on, he's an endoc endocrinologist who's doing some miraculous work on understanding the problem with diabetes and insulin resistance. As we all know nowadays, the doctors are not studied or learned on nutrition. So my last doctor visit, which was the day before yesterday, today is uh, Sunday, April the 6th, and I went on uh, Friday, April the 4th, and I really started to address some serious concerns with me. My thyroid has been checked, blood work has been checked, everything comes out and turns out to be normal. And I started to tell her about some of the research that I've been doing as far as the way a diabetic should and needs to eat and things that they need to watch out for. She quickly showed me that she was extremely uninterested in any research, any new information that was out there. And she went back to her notepad and her computer and just started typing in a whole laundry list of prescription drugs for me again. I've never been an advocate or really like to take prescription drugs. I know some are necessary, you know, but there are some that, that, that can be avoided. And the more research that I'm finding out, especially through Dr. Jason Fung in intermittent fasting is that type 2 diabetes is reversible. And it's a, it can be. If left untreated and only treated with medication and insulin, it stays progressive. And it will continue to rot your body and your eyes go and your organs start to go and then your extremities get worse and worse. And being genetically exposed and having family members, every single male from my father down has been diagnosed with diabetes. I thought that it's time for me as being the fitness guru and the one who is uh, studied on nutrition, 
has been a personal trainer, to take it upon myself to kind of pioneer this for my family and to see what it is that we can do to change our lives and to fight this diabetes. So um, the past few weeks, I did intermittent fasting. I did uh, 18 hours uh, fasting and six hours non-fasting. I've tried 24-hour fast. I've done two 48-hour fasts and um, didn't really notice much change in my blood sugar. They didn't come down, which some say I didn't give it enough time, and which I can agree to that. But um, after going to my doctor and seeing that my A1C was still 7.8, my blood sugar was 189, and I realized that there, out of frustration, I, I still need to do more. I still need to do more. So I reached out to a group and just expressed my frustrations. And one of the things that they, a lot of diabetics suggested was to try longer fast, to really deplete myself of the insulin and the glycogen that is in my body. It may take longer fast. So here we are. I'm starting my first five-day fast. And I'm doing water, black coffee, and green tea. And I will take some um, minerals in the form of Himalayan salt to keep the electrolytes in my body and to make sure that I do have some of the um, some minerals in my body. I make sure I stay hydrated. And I'm only an hour into the fast, so I'm just now starting it. I just ate my last meal at about 10.30. Uh, I have a friend of mine on Messenger. We started at 10 o'clock. I'm 30 minutes uh, behind her. So if she ever sees this video, you know, I really appreciate the support. So hats off to you for supporting me on that. And so here we go. I know this is the longest video I'll probably record, and I'll take you through my journey of my five-day fast, and I'll let you know how I feel. Um, oh, while I got you on here, maybe we can check my blood sugar. So give me just a second, and I'll check that, um, and we'll mark my journey. Okay, so I'm at 116, which, uh, you know, typically isn't as low as... Um, I'm used to it to be. So it comes as a surprise, right? I usually am a little higher than that. But I did take uh, a gram of metformin today and a little piece of uh, another prescription drug, glyamperide, that I don't really uh, want to take. But I will stay on my metformin at a very low dosage as I monitor my blood sugar. So 116 is actually pretty low. I was hoping it was a little higher so that I can see it drop, but we'll start there. So our starting point is 116, and it is 11 o'clock at night, half an hour into the fast for five days, and I'll see you in the morning. Check my blood sugar in the morning, see you at the gym, because I'm going to stay working out. So I don't know how to flip this camera around. Yo, so, okay, here we go. This is day number one. I'm on my way to the gym. We get there, we're gonna do my weigh in. My first weigh in for the day. Let's check my blood sugar right now, see what it is. It's a little after 12 hours in. This is a walk in the park for me. I'm used to doing 16, 8, 18, 6 hour fast. So, um, I feel horrible though. I thought that um, I would feel a whole lot better starting off on this thing, but I think it's psychological. I know I got five days to go, so could be up here, but you know. I'm going to keep working out. I'm going to keep moving, and we're going to see what happens. So let's check my blood sugar and um, see where we go from there. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty much what I'm used to. This is about where I've been at for the last two weeks, which is pretty frustrating with the way I work out and eat. But um, I don't do too good on the weekend, so that's going to change. But you see I'm at 184. And uh, last night I was at 116. So they say sometimes your, your blood sugar is, uh, spikes in the morning for whatever reason. But uh, anyway, we're on our way to the gym. So let's get there and weigh in and see what we, we're at. Peace.
Okay, on the second scale, we got 285. So there's about a three pound difference from the other scale. And we'll just check both every day and see where we go. All right. Okay, that's what we got. Our fat butt is 31.6%. It says very high. Very high. Okay, well, whatever. You know, we're gonna see what this. I don't know how to flip the camera as I'm recording, so I gotta stop and start it. Hopefully, it won't even make a difference when I edit it. But as you see, uh, what the scale says, um, roughly about 283 on average is about where I'm at. My body fat is 31.6%. This is day number one. I'm about to hit the gym. You know, fortunately for me, this part isn't a problem. I love doing it. This is my therapy. This is my meditation. This is my peace. Uh, I have more of a problem not working out when I'm sick or when I'm exhausted than I do, than I do when I work out. Um, some say that, you know, when you're trying to get your insulin levels low, that the stress can increase your insulin levels. But I'm just going to have to find another way to do it without stopping working out. Um, so, you know, this is, this is what I do. This is, this is very easy for me. This is my passion. Uh, I love putting myself to the test and stressing my body out to the point where I can recover and get stronger every day. Um, but the results haven't been there. You know, I see guys look 10 times better than me that probably couldn't handle me in here. That's frustrating, you know. So I want to see what uh, this fast and five-day fast would do for me to see if it can actually help me, you know, uh, work out this insulin resistance, this type 2 diabetes, this metabolic problem that I obviously have developed over the years. So, uh, man, I hate that wrinkle on top of my hair. My stock cap makes me look even older. But anyway, uh, man, let's get this workout in, man, and um, see you later on tonight. Peace. Okay, so it's about 10.30 at night, so I'm coming up on um, 24 hours. So um, I'm going to check my blood sugar and record that um, so we have that documented. And I feel pretty good. I mean, I knew I could handle 24 hours. Sleeping is always a little difficult to sleep when I'm hungry. So I have some um, some tools and some some tricks and hacks that I might use and maybe get myself to sleep a little bit. Um, I, you know, I try those. Um, tonight will be pretty good, to, uh, easier than the other nights to get to sleep. So uh, workout was great. Um, around about 6 o'clock, I went to the basketball court and played a couple rounds of basketball with my son. And I was fine. I, I'm a little concerned with overexerting myself starting out so early. But um, my idea going in this is to continue regular activity. I feel like if I have to moderate and slow down my activity throughout the week, then it's not practical to be able to do it. So I want to continue to try to stay just as active as I would in any other day. I don't want to become lethargic and slow and try to just kind of sit around in my rest periods. I want to stay active and keep getting things done. So um, I'm going to flip the camera over or whatever, however it works. And you're going to watch me. Um, I'll show you my blood sugar. So give me just a second. Okay. It is 140. So it's come down somewhat um, since last night, which was what? 116 it was, but then this morning it was 189. So it's come down pretty well um, throughout the day. Um, and I like to use this one because I can actually, let me show you how I can do this. I can, um, add comment, say that I am fasting and then I'll just sync it to my phone. I have an app on my phone and it puts it on a graph, keeps up with everything pretty decent. Uh, so it's transferring to my phone right now. So there we have it. I'm at 140. We'll check it again in the morning when I do my way in, um, and hit the gym. Tomorrow is going to be, um, tomorrow's Tuesday, hitting back, I'm going to do back. I'm doing everything in sort of a, more of a moderate circuit where I combine a little bit of cardio with my weight training. So I'm back and forth off the, you know, the treadmill, the elliptical train. I usually use the stair mill and then two minutes on and then I go and do a round of whatever body part I'm training for the day. And I try to do that for about 30 to 45 minutes uh, to get my heart rate up, still stimulate my body try to do it somewhat of a metabolic workout. So that's what we'll do tomorrow. So that's it for today. Uh, see you in the morning. Peace. Okay, so day two. And um, 
I'm gonna check my blood sugar, see where it is. So we're coming up on uh, a little bit over uh, under 36 hours, about 32 or 33 hours right now, fasting. So um, let's check the sugars and see what's up. Okay, 164. So that's a little lower than um, when I first started was 189. It was like 140 before I started, but a lot of people say their blood sugar is elevated. Um, <clears throat> in the morning, I'm used to that. Um, let me send that over to my phone. Okay, so let's head to the gym and uh, get on the scale. Let's get our workout in for the day. As a family, she lives about 72 miles out of town, and we we all get together, and mom put snacks in the car, and we took a road trip, you know. And it seemed like forever to drive 72 miles. When I got older, I moved to Philly, and as I was starting my drive to Philly, before I knew it, I was 72 miles on the trip, passing the exit where my aunt lived at. And I would think, wow, if I was just going to my aunt's house, I'd be here. But that's the way I feel today on day two of a five-day fast. I've done 36 hours. I've even done 48 hours. So I'm thinking to myself, wow, I'll be here. I still got a long way to go. <laughs> so we're almost at the gym. Every time. And I see you in a few. situation. Okay, I'm liking what he's saying better. What did this one say yesterday? 285. So I'm down six pounds on this scale, but I'm up nine pounds on the other scale. So I think we're 86 both scales, and we'll just keep using this baby right here. Okay, as you can see today it says 32.1. Very high. Um, this would indicate, I mean, over time that I would lost muscle. I don't think that would be the case in one day. Um, but, you know, this is just a gauge. And honestly, I'm not really interested in what the scale says. Um, and typically, usually not my body fat. I do, of course, want it to go down. But, you know, this is a... Uh, Let me flip the camera around. This is really a, uh, a thing about my insulin resistance and, you know, carrying my body. So... Um, to see the number go down on the scale and this go up, this, these aren't really uh, that consistent. Over the course of a couple of days, you will see what direction it goes in. If it continues to go up, then that could be an indication of something, which I doubt uh, very highly that that's what's gonna happen. So um, that's day two, time to hit this workout. Actually, I feel real pretty damn good. Or do something. I don't want to go overboard. I try to go too hard just because I'm feeling good. Because I got to run a marathon, you know? So I got to think about making it through the week. So my workout's going to be great. It's going to be intense. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to go overboard. So let's get this workout in. I'll see you tonight. We check my blood sugar. And I'll holler at you later. Peace. Hooray. So I made it 48 hours, two days. 
I said I did a 48 hour fast before, but actually I haven't. Like I, I did a 48 hour fast, but I didn't make it 48 hours. So this is my actual full 48 hour fast. I think my last one I did 45 hours and I tapped out. So blood sugar time. I'm not going to talk too much. Let's check with blood sugar. Then we'll call it a night. Hit the gym in the morning. So here we go. One twenty four, one twenty four. So, I guess as I send it to my phone, I guess it's good. Yeah, so see it going down consistently. So, we'll keep it up and check it on day number two tomorrow. Actually, I'm not working out tomorrow. I usually take Wednesdays off, so I will do that. Take Wednesdays off, just rest, get some work done, do some stuff around the house, and uh, make phone calls, emails, blah blah blah. So, um, Thursday will be my next workout day. But you know what? We will go up there and do a weigh-in. So, at some point, we'll get up there and do a, a weigh-in. So, I can check it every day. So, I'll see you then. All right. Peace. Yo, what up? Day three. And I'm um, feeling pretty good. We're going to check the blood sugars. Um, and we're going to go to check the scale. See what the body weight is. And you know what? I think I actually might... Um, do a little walking, which says uh, on the treadmill or something light, which says a lot. Because usually by Wednesdays, I'm completely worn out. Uh, I mean, I know my, my workouts are a little uh, moderated compared to what I used to do. Um, but to not have any food in my stomach for almost three days now, and that I even feel like doing something today, uh, kind of speaks to maybe the success of... Um, you know, starting to be fat adapted or something, you know, seems that way. So, check the blood sugars and head to the gym, all right? Drum roll, 167. This is pretty much what I'm used to. So, hey, just keep going, see what happens. Good to see my blood sugar at 167 with no food for three days. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's just go to the gym. Sink. See ya. Okay, here we are. Day three. Let's get on here. See what we got. Okay, 276. I don't know what it is. 279. I'm almost down nine pounds in three days. Okay, let's check the body fat. So you can see how inconsistent this is up and down a little bit. But we'll just keep using it as a scale, you know. Uh, I'm gonna do a little walking today and um, the blood sugar got me frustrated, but I shouldn't be, but you know, you see after two days of night eating, it's still 167. It's like, what the hell, you know what I mean? So we'll see how that goes. Um, with me just doing a little walk, um, day three. I'm still feeling pretty good, a little irritable, but I just don't like people much, so it could just be me. Or just not eating. I don't know. Um, let's get it. I'll see you later on today, tonight, when I check my blood sugar. All right? Peace. Yo, listen. It's about 8 o'clock. About two and a half hours to go before I'm completed with day number three. Uh, I'm having a rough time right about now. And they said it would get easier around about day two into day three. So far, it's not the case for me. I'm going to make it. I know that at this point. I'm at the point of no return. I'm not going to quit now. I done made three days, so I'm in it. But, man, I'm fighting. I'm dealing with it today. So I'm hanging there. Check my blood sugar in a couple hours. I'll see you later on tonight. So I'm hanging there. Stay tough.
Well, 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 look who we have here. 72 hours. 72 hours. Three days. I made it. Feeling a little weird. Feeling a little weird. We just be exhausted from the week and, you know, stress on the body and all. Um, I did work out a little bit today and just walked on the stair mill for about 20 minutes, working with a good little sweat. Not much. I kept it moving today so I didn't get lethargic or anything. Um, my energy level was really actually pretty good. Um, I uh, definitely um, wrestle with hunger a lot more than I thought I would, you know, because I hear from a lot of other people that by day two into day three, the hunger kind of goes away. You get like a little more fat adapted. You're running off of fat ketone bodies. But man, remember six or seven o'clock, I was struggling. My sister made some chicken with some garlic bread. Whew. It was tough. So, I'm okay now. Uh, but I may be able to sleep through the night. But let's check the sugars and get on with our night. So, here we go. Drum roll. Do, 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 do. One, ten. Send it to my phone so we can graph it. Fasty. All right, send it. Okay, so what do y'all think? Seems to be working. 110, so high in the morning. I had to do more research to understand why that happened. I, 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 I read some things before, but I tend to forget exactly why they say your blood sugar is uh, higher in the morning. I hear it from a lot of diabetics, but I forget the biological explanation as to why. So I'll look into it and try to remember why, but that's what I'm seeing. But, you know, down to 110. Uh, I'm taking a very small dosage of... Uh, about one third of my metformin prescription and a really small pinch of this other small pill glamparide just a little piece crumb off of it as small as it is i just take it a little bit and maybe it's helping a little bit so i think i'm gonna continue on a small dose of my meds to help me keep flowing so hey that's good man so uh i'm gonna fall back for the night chill get my rest up so i'm back at it again tomorrow so We'll do our um, blood sugar and a weigh in, and I'll see you at the gym. Peace. Day number four. Day number four. I have a lot of clarity. They say you get mental clarity. I definitely can experience that. Out of all the days, I probably feel uh, sort of best today. Day number four. I mean, I know I can make it now. Yesterday got a little tough, uh, late evening, I slept well, woke up refreshed, so um, this is nothing but uh, just time now, I got about 34 hours left, a little over 30, little under 34 hours left, it's a done deal, so let's check my blood sugar and uh, hit the scale, body fat, and get the workout started. 134, which for me in the morning is actually really good. I don't ever really see uh, my blood sugar that low in the morning. So I got my portable one, so I have to manually put it in my phone to graph it a little later. So let, let's go on in inside. I'm outside chilling. It's nice out. So let's go inside, hit the scale, check the body fat, and go from there. Start off at 286 down to 272. Um, so, yeah, we'll use this scale from here on out. Okay, so this trash thing says 31.3. Still very high. Yeah, you might as well just say fat and all here. 
Here we have. And at this point, y'all know how I feel about this. Just uh, only tool I got, so check the body fat. Um, who knows what that may mean? Went down a little bit, not really much. Yeah, I was up 32 yesterday. Who, who knows? So um, that's it for today. Until later on this evening, let's get this workout in, and I'll see you later on this evening. All right, peace. Four days, y'all. 96 hours. Got it in. 24 hours left to go. It's all down here from now. I got this. I feel about the same every day, though. It didn't really get easier. Maybe in some areas. Uh, never had any brain fog. I think I did get a lot more clarity. Um, uh, my workout today, so I did try to do legs. It was just almost non-existent. I got through it. And then I'm doing about 30 minutes of steady state cardio, try to burn some fat and keep active. I did a little bit of leg on the leg press. There was no squats going on today. It was not happening. So I was uh, a little drained in the gym, which is to be expected. I wasn't uh, distraught by that at all. Um, but, man, I got four days in. I'm feeling all right. Probably feel better if the, the meter reads good. So let's see if we agree how good we get along. So let's check that now. Um, so let's go. No freaking way. I can't ever remember ever seeing my blood sugar be that low. 93. So that lets you know something is working. I like it. I like it. Tell me what you think. Is it temporary? Is it helping fix it long term? If I continue, uh, you know, a lifestyle of intermittent fasting, low carbohydrate, high fat diet, good exercising, good rest, keep my cortisol levels down, blah 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 blah. I don't know. Let's see because I ain't never had my blood sugars be ninety three. I tell you that. So you, any critic or skeptic can say what they want, but ain't nothing ever got my blood sugar down to ninety three. So I'm liking it. Um, so yay. You know, um, man, 93, 93, be higher in the morning. We know that, but let's see where it goes. So we got one last day of working out. going to be a light, light circuit, do some arms, get it in. And so I check you out in the morning and what we do our blood sugar and then hit the gym, hit the scale of the body fat, that weak body fat, boo. So we'll still do it anyway, just for routine. You know what I'm saying? So y'all have a good night. Or whatever y'all doing. I'm having a good night. Let me get some rest. and get some sleep. I see you. Four down. One to go. Peace. Day five. Day five. So good. And when I set out to do this, um, I knew that I would go five days. Um. So I'm excited, but I'm not surprised because I had determined I was determined to go through no matter what, if I got sick, whatever. I was going to do the five days just to get the experience. Um, so, hey man, let's see what our high morning blood sugar is going to be on day number five. Okay, let's go. Would you look at that? I haven't had a morning blood sugar of one nineteen. Right, since I knew I was diabetic. Transferring the phone, 119. Feeling good, man. So, look, today's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Graham. So, we're having a dinner tonight. Um, I'll break fast, but I'm not going to break fast with the dinner. I have my, um, I'll be strategic. I also got to come up with a good time to record the video. So it's going to be partying tonight. Uh, but I definitely won't be partaking in the food because I'm going to break the fast in the next day or so very gently. So I'm going to have some fruit. I'm going to store, get some grapefruit, some strawberries. These got blackberries on sale. And that's some bone broth soup that I made. So uh, I'll break with those things. And then I eat something uh, later on at night. Late at night, I eat something substantial, but not too much. Um, so let's go to the gym, man. I got a good little workout I want to do today. And get the scale, get the body fat. Boo. And I'll see you at the gym, so let's go. Okay. Let's go see what this scale says on our last day. Headed in here right now. Y'all wanna go with me? Come on, let's go. Alright, drum roll. 
Tell them what the public because I couldn't calculate all the total weight today will make 16 pounds that I've lost. Now, this thing says I'm still 31% body fat, it's, it's just not possible. Even if I lost muscle, the body fat would go up. So, this thing just didn't really tell us much. So, this was kind of a waste of our time, right? Uh, based on how I feel, how I look, I don't see that it was uh, a significant amount of muscle. A lot of water, of course, so most of that will come back, but not all of it. There's no way it's 16 pounds of water either. So there's, just, there's something to say about the success of fast period just from the significant amount of weight loss. You know, some people are just desperate enough just to see the number go down, period, no matter what it is, right? So, hey, there's plus right there. So, uh, like I said, tonight we have uh, my mom's birthday dinner. So I'm going to have to be very strategic about how I break the fast. It's going to be some, some tempting food and cake and stuff there. I definitely don't want to consume that after a five-day fast, so it's out the question. Uh, I'll go to the store after we hit the gym, and I'll pick up some, you know, some stuff that I can consume. So i uh, feeling a little tired, but not anything different than what I would feel on a Friday at the end of the week working out. Even though my workouts were a little you know, moderated, a little, a little less intense than normal. But um, I still have enough energy maybe to get a 30-minute workout in, 40-minute workout in. So let's do that and then uh, get our final reading on our blood sugar today. And then I'll have a video after that following up, see how much weight I put back on, blah, blah, blah. So here we go. Jim, see you tonight. Peace. Yo, 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 yo. So we got like five and a half hours left to go. It's almost 5 p.m. And I'll be complete with my five day fast. So I just went to the store. I'm gonna pick up some items that I'm gonna like break my fast with. I'm gonna start off really light for the rest of the, the night. And then tomorrow I might eat something substantial. So let's see what we got here. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat me some strawberries. Mm, they're gonna be so good. I can wait. I got some grapefruit. Got two of those. I need to go back to the store and get some more. And it's really all I got because I got the bone broth soup. And then I got some pistachios. I don't know how they going to do all my stomach. I just finished drinking black tea. Not green tea. I needed some caffeine so I get a black tea. And I need to go back to the store because I need to get some pickles. I want some pickles. And so, you know, here we are. I'm feeling, feeling it. I feel good, but I definitely feel like it's time for my body to get some some nourishment and some nutrients in it. But I also feel rejuvenated. It feels like, you know, I really got emptied out and you know, kind of cleared and cleansed. I do like that feeling. Um, but I'm ready to eat. Five days, enough is enough, okay? Um, I lost good weight. So um, check with you tonight when I close out with, uh, you know, um, my, my blood sugar and uh that's it so can't wait to eat <laughs> 120 hours five days it is now about 10 32 i'm like two minutes past my fast so i'm gonna hit the button on my app to end my fast five days first time i've ever done anything like this and uh, I'm going to eat my first bite of food here in a few. Uh, today was more of a feeling like I just needed to eat. Not hungry, but uh, like deficient feeling, if that makes any sense. Um, but the thing that kept me in there was determination and knowing that there was a lot of healing going on inside my body, right? So, you know, that was it. It was rough. Today was my mom's birthday party. And they had all kind of food and cake and, and things. And I wasn't tempted, but it just was a reminder that I hadn't eaten 
towards that. So without further ado, let's get the last blood sugar check, and then I'll jump in the shower, drink some bone broth soup, and I'll record a little video. You can be with me when I have my first bite of food in like five days. Okay, so blood sugar. 104. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna check it again after hour or so after I eat. So there we have it. The end of my five day fast, 16 pounds. My blood sugar went consistently down. I'll check them again in the morning. I'm not gonna eat too much. My new blood glucose value just hit. Take that off. And uh, we'll get back on here so you can uh, be with me when I have my first bite of food. I'll tell you about some of the things I've learned in this uh, journey. It's very interesting. So to all who are going to watch this, thank you for enduring the 40 plus minutes of a boring video of my five day journey. But I'm doing this to really kind of help my family and try to discover some ways to uh, combat um, type 2 diabetes so we don't all have to suffer for generations to come. Um, and so I'm willing to experiment and uh, go that extra mile, take that extra measure to find out what it is that we could do to heal our body and break this curse for my family. So uh, see you in a minute when we eat, take a shower, and see you. Peace.